One of the benefits of doing this work, clearing all of your pain, all of your wounds, and wounds are meant to awaken us. I think most of us have to be wounded so much and be humiliated <laughs> before we go on this journey. Um, but many go on it willingly and um, the benefits that you get are incredible because as you clear all this stuff and you're not talking about your wounds and your pain and your suffering and let go of your anger and fear and everything, you raise your consciousness to um, like fifth dimensional consciousness and there we can connect with the angelic realm and the masters, the saints, God, can talk directly to God, don't have to go through a church and also you can connect with um, people on different planets like the Arcturians who they're very amazing healers and uh, from the Palladians they're amazing uh, with heart opening so the benefits are really great depending on what you want to do also you find your intuition connecting with yourself is crystal clear you know years ago I'd get glimpses and I'd get a like a pulsing to put me on my right path but here it's really no question it's crystal clear and it's like you know you're having a direct conversation so it's really worthwhile I think doing this work most of us are living in a three-dimensional world in that most people have their hearts closed and are talking about love but not living in love. My father was a lay preacher in the Church of England and I saw that you know they quoted the Bible and talked about it but I didn't see much joy or people walking their talk or living in love. Um, so there's a huge difference between talking about it and knowing things in your head. You know, you can know, I did myself, I knew everything in my head, but I had to really get into my body and, you know, start living my life like that in integrity. And then you come in alignment with your soul and you're doing what you came here to do doing the work that you came here to do and your being with the people you were meant to be with. So huge benefits. I think for me it's been totally and absolutely all worth it. Um, at the time it might seem, oh, why am I being kicked around? But if you don't do things willingly, follow your blueprint, and I really believe that before we're born, we set our own blueprint, meaning we set the path, the lessons that we want to learn, the challenges we want to move through, and what we want to achieve, and then what we want to share and give to others. So, like I was in Hong Kong, and I was a stockbroker, having a great time, very successful, had five children, but at a certain time I had to be veered off in another direction, like doing this work, writing books, sharing my knowledge. So if you don't do it willingly, spirit comes in and kicks you. <laughs> it was at that stage my oldest son was starting to take drugs and I thought, what's the use of making all this money if my son dies? So there was a radical shift in values for me. And so if we don't listen to our soul or our angels, our guardian angels, whatever you want to call it, you will create a situation. I've known people who on the same day have lost their job, 
and then their husband or wife were going to divorce them. So it really set them off in a new direction. So it's really key to really be listening to your own inner guidance and females and um, men that run female energy have a lot of intuition and they follow it and um, it's very beneficial. So I would say tune in to your inner guidance and really don't listen to anything I've got to say or anyone says. Tune into your own guidance and what your guidance is telling you. And this spiritual path, I mean, you don't have to rush off and sit at the foot of a guru in India or go on really massive retreats. It's really doing your own work and realizing that it's so beneficial. So I would encourage you to willingly go on this journey you know, just start tuning into your body. But even if it's just for your health, I mean, if there's a pain in your body, it's telling you something, you know, something that you need to pay attention to. So our body is really our inner guidance system. But the benefits from the Arcturians, they have some really valuable information on consciousness. They're very, very highly advanced race. And um, they have amazing information on heart opening, on the soul level, bringing in your light, shining your light. Because the more you let go of all this pain and suffering and fear, it's mainly fear, then the more this light or universal intelligence or unifo unified field of consciousness the source, you know, whatever you like to call it, religions aside, it's this amazing energy that comes in, just flooding you and yourselves with love. So everything can flow very freely and any blockages that might be in the way. If you see it like a river, you know, you're flowing in the river and, you know, you're going around twists and bends, but if you see uh, blockages or have challenges, you know, you would deal it, or if you're canoeing or whitewater rafting. So it's like that, the journey's like that. There's twists and turns, but just go with the flow and all roads lead to love and connecting to our source because we've forgotten who we are. We think we're separate and alone and it's not that at all. So all religions are saying this and there's different journeys for different people, but living in love and connecting with your source is the key and being in alignment with that source, with love. It's really beautiful and it's such a lovely way to be. It's really, really good fun and you will just feel it. and. On workshops, I bring this universal energy in and so people can feel this energy. So you can just feel it just coming right into your body. It's just wonderful. It's so juicy and um, ah, just lovely. So good luck on your journey and uh, let me know how it's going.